<gasps> share mine too. Ow! Thank you, weirdness. If the boss subscribed it to your what? Yay! Is that what we're doing? We're all signing in. Hell yeah! Foot, 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 etc. So we can foot, foot, my foot, foot. Mm, yeah. Three years. Thanks, folks, for three years on this channel oh, and many years before that on previous channel. Oh, brother channel. That's right. I'm a trans. I'm a trans. Wow. It's very saucy. Biggest kind of moment of action. Woo! <laughs> I was in a fight. Oh, you mean faction. Okay, I understand. Hey! hey. hey. Thank Thank you. Wow. Look at all these oh, all these wonderful folks. Oh, penguin. Wonderful folks. Or an owl? Penguins. What? Is that yeah. a penguin or an owl? Hold on. Burp. Hover, hover. Popcorn. 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 It looks like a, oh, I would a penguin. So penguin. I would guess Very penguin. cute. It yeah. like a penguin. 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 Pangolin. That's right. Oh! Well, thank you so wow. much. Wow. Oh, thank you for the gift sub. I guess I hadn't clicked my resub. Now, here we are. <laughs> Yay! Well, thank you so much. Look at this. I'm subbed to myself. Wow. <laughs> I like that everybody is getting their own, like, distinct brand of emotes that they use most often. You know, we've got Aragorn with the mushrooms. Weirdness uh, is is uh, partial to that cat. Yeah. Well, Aragorn's mushrooms are her own emotes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But still, okay. it's, it's the identity, hey. the brand. Okay. Good girl. It's Toad. Hey, hey, thank you. Thank you. Hair. 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 Yeah. I think it says a lot about me that my most used emote is of my own face. Now it's, I think it's a, it, it's a reaction that I really wish there was like a good emoji for. Like I wish there was an emoji that was also doing that, yeah. you know, but it is what it is. It's just, like I wish I could text it to people. It's really <laughs> applicable to a great many. I know, I know. Yeah, also this, like the success. Mm. Oh my wow. goodness, thank you for the gifts. Oh, Bill. Wow. All these gift subs. Oh shit, Battle Ooze 42. Looks like we're approaching a sub only chat by default. I think so, yeah. We saw Mia pop in too. Hello, Hello. Mia. Hello. Battle Ooze 42 feels like I'm about to embark on a JRPG like. JRPG. JRPG. You heard it. You heard it. Uh, first, like, first combat, you know? Yeah. Like when you start out in a JRPG, yeah, you fight the like some slimes. slimes or whatever. Or, or so I don't play video games. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. You're like, what is a Jerpaga? <laughs> Is that like a new foot, like picture file format? Yeah, Jerpaga, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spot. Oh no, a hundred percent. I I absolutely have started doing that. I'm yeah, gonna do know. it with someone who doesn't know what it is soon. Let's see it right now. Probably go. my parents. They're gonna say something to me, and I'm gonna go. <laughs> it's gonna be really but weird. But no one's surprised when you do that, even if they don't know the context. It's true. Our what jerp. does it say about me? Jerpagers. <laughs> Mm. I can go for another no, I don't want. That's good. Hi! How's everybody? Hi, buddy? What? How are you? Yeah! Hey, I had a pretty hefty lunch, so I thought I might be a little like Ugh. Logie? A little lo little Logie! Yeah! But I'm not. I feel great. Thanks for asking. Uh I am Do you have hydration? No, but I'm mm. gonna be fine. Okay. Uh, probably during break I'll solicit one of you to fix that uh at the same time folks we're here we have all kinds of uh well cliffhangers oh yeah oh yes but uh you did if i don't miss my guess you grew last time um yeah <laughs> Knowing that this may very well be towards the cap of your characters being able to grow, how did you grow this time around? Uh, I chose to uh, buy my second uh, unlock your moment of balance. Okay. So it is now you you utilizable. Yep. Ah, utilizable. <laughs> utilizable. Uh, I uh, took another plus one to a stat. Shakes me up to two creativity. Don't have the most creative of the bunch, but 
What are your stats currently? Two, two, one, two. Okay. It's uh, we've advanced a lot. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, good. I went up in passion. I went from zero passion to one passion. Hey, that's I, have... that I was starting oh. to feel passionate about. And what me. are your stats now? At... Three, two, one, one. What are yours? One, three, two, two. Wow. Damn. That's a lot. So I, I didn't take a move that allows me to go up to three. So I, I'm, I'm mostly at my natural cap of two for most of my stats. No but... cap. <laughs> Liz, Liz continuing her journey to her, be cool. <laughs> her attempt to be hip with the youths. <laughs> we think you're cool, Liz. Oh, that's so right? that's cringe. Come on. Oh, no. Don't. Putting in my effort, flopper. caring about things. <laughs> Yuck. That's so mid. <laughs> so <laughs> mid. Oh, brutal. Oh. Yeah. Too late for us to switch places. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's enough for me to start crying, but... It's very strange. If you're along the path, that's good. I think that's a good thing. Just to have it. Whoa! Fuel! Thank you. Thanks, everyone. How is I that assume here? there's a hype train happening and we just can't see it. Yeah. But whatever it, it is. Choo choo! You're in the background. Well, is that how trains sound? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. I'm so anxious to see how this is going to turn out. Um, the. But I, I like. Are we even allowed to use the word anxious like that anymore? Like now, I feel like hmm. anxious very much is, is tied to anxiety, as opposed to um, anticipation. Mm. I mean, which makes sense because the root word is the same, right? But, yeah. Like, like is that is that strange to to use? Like, oh, I'm anxious to see what's going to happen now, or is that like now people feeling? Thanks for oh, you. hey, reading lab. I think adding the proper, you know, context to um, to your feelings, be them concerns or or little uh, excited emotions, it's always a good thing. And you know, we have some tools that can help you yeah, okay, really express yourself. <laughs> and these are our safety cards. They allow us maximum expression of our feelings, ourselves, our sense of comfort, therefore maximum fun. Uh, you audience members do not have cards, but you do have options. We'll get to them in a second. What does the green card mean if we hold it up? Uh, the green card the play card means i am feeling great even if i or my character seem otherwise i am enthusiastically consenting to continuing this role play uh yellow card is a pause card hey everyone listen to me please i have to make the table aware of something once i've lowered the card i am good to continue uh, a red card means i am not okay to continue this is the stop card in our case because we're streaming it probably means we'll go to a brb screen and discuss internally we will only continue to play if everybody at the table agrees that they are g to g what options do you folks have glad you asked uh you can message us you can whisper us at rpg clinic that will go to all four of us we'll all be able to read it uh you can also whisper one of our moderators uh in chat right now we are very fortunate we have aragorn we have kung fu fenders and we have the crosshair you can whisper any of them. Uh, you can also message them on Discord if that is an option to you. Uh, and they will pass along your feedback anonymously if you so choose. And then another thing that you can always do, this is always an option, is you can close the stream, close the chat, turn off the video. Of course, we'd be sad to see you go, but you have to prioritize your safety. Otherwise, how can you have fun? Mmm. How? It's true. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I've always appreciated how each of us does it just a little bit differently and yet the I, you there was there, there was, was one yes you're right yeah we'll fly. yeah um okay. oh god i, I like, felt something yeah wow oh, oh my god whack. i would appreciate that we each do it a little bit differently and i was wondering what the fastest way to do it and i would be like green cool yellow whoa red uh-uh you -uh. <laughs> or get the fuck yeah bail done yeah we ever really need to dive in quick, you know? I mean, I think it's play, pause, stop, ah. word hole. Word hole. Perfect. Perfect. Bop it. Twist it. Bop it. Pull it. Twist it. <laughs> Sue it for perjury. <laughs> right. For perjury. <laughs> For perjury. Oh, uh, uh, there is no perjury when it comes to our recaps, though. It's 100% truth 
all the time. Bao has a relatively frank talk with their mother and promises to choose Sao Wan over Takata should the time come. The group reunites and crosses into the spirit world, which is devoid of spirits. Don does notice one familiar face and barters for a meeting with the face dealer. Yong Su picks a plateau to pitch tents and the erections are soon followed by explosions. Everyone's pack was bombed. Once that situation is diffused, another arrives through the portal. Southern Special Forces here to arrest the gang for crimes against the spirits. Don takes the opportunity to slip away to meet Ko. Jai convinces Yong Su to bail while Bao barters, discovering that Tatik may have been working against them all along. Soon, they too are convinced by their cousin to rejoin Don, leaving the remaining Sao Wan surrendering. Ko is met, Don's suspicions are confirmed, shocking faces are revealed, but everyone leaves unscathed, with the conversation recorded by documentarian Madrival. Will Takata step down in the face of overwhelming evidence? Will Bao save their family's status? Will Don find the library and balance the scales? Will Tatik attack? <sighs> we hey. shall see. Madrival did not die. Nope. nope. There's a spike, I think, like pointed at his head, he not through his head. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The spike went through. through. Yeah, like if this is the spike and this is magical, it's oh. like this. Oh. Yeah. Don't worry, everyone. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. Nice no, Magical's not dead. Good. Yeah. Magical's not dead. I'm so glad. I'm so glad Magical's not dead. not dead. Just the glass. <laughs> Just the glass. <laughs> Very good. Oh boy. Thank you for the hype train. Thank you for the hype train, everyone. Thank you. We couldn't do it without your support. Sorry, we wouldn't do it. Hang on, that's, hang on. What am I trying to say here? We love your support. Yes, <laughs> like that makes this possible. Oh. Woo. Questions before we begin? Tatik has revealed himself. I believe. Yes. And, and, and and the, that, that's not a question. Magical. Yeah, You're just, right. Yeah. I guess I could have put more of a question. Tatik shows up is underlined. Okay. In my yeah. previous note. Will Tatik tatak? Tatik tatak. Tatik tatak. Tatik tatak. Tatik tatak. Tatik tatak. Or. Okay. Tatik's favorite cake? The tray. Seafood kale. kale. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You <laughs> love seafood. My NPCs are one dimensional. <laughs> they only care about one thing. <laughs> And I food. He cares about That's a bad. Oh oh oh. <laughs> what do you mean nuance? <laughs> nuance isn't that a town in the Fire Nation? France. In France. Very good. No, no, no further questions, Your Honor. Thank you. Then I guess we should get going. I've done a couple of uh, obstacle courses in my time, and uh, the ones that I remember most clearly are the ones that diverge, where there's mm -hmm. multiple paths, and then you can kind of get to the end. So people sometimes choose, like, oh, which path do I think I'll be able to do best, or which path will take the least amount of time, and gaming's an awful lot like a multiple choice obstacle course. There's a lot of there's a, there's a destination that all of you are trying to reach, but yet you're all taking different paths to get there. And can we organize it so that you all hit that goal at the same time or close to it? It's not as if it's a race to see who manages to get there first. The point is that everyone has to get there. Everyone has to get there and feel like they got their money's worth. Because this obstacle course, ooh, it was pretty heavy. Uh, Assuming that your time is worth money, then you have sunk a total of, well, let's let's say that, you know, right now it's about 40 to 50 hours worth for this puppy. You know, depending on, you know, breaks and some people work, and some people just conk out every once in a while. Right. Oh, here he goes. <laughs> there you go. This narcoleptic stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Five paths ascending in gaming. Uh, so, today, 
it's okay to put your eyes on the prize. There is going to be a destination looming just right there. Whether you're, you know, battling through like those inflatable pillars that you have to sort of push <laughs> past, or whether it's like a rock climbing wall that you have to get up real fast, or whether it's a water jet that's pushing you back and oh. it's just way too hard. You'll get there. But it's okay to now push for that end. Much in the same way that I am going to be pushing all of you. Remind us where we are. The uh, In the spirit world, there is a swamp. And in that swamp dwells the, the face stealer, Ko. We have just had a meeting with said face stealing spirit, Ko, yes. who has slithered off into the darkness. Uh, the three of us, timing, now Oda, mm -hmm. and hidden behind a rock was uh, Madrival, the documentarian slash, you know, filmmaker. Uh, but Madrival is being held at bay by a long, thin shard of ice and by Tatik. Wielded by Tatik. Wielded by Tatik, who said something to the effect of, we should talk, or something to that effect. You have something of mine, and I need it back now. Lower the icicle, Tatik. He didn't do anything to you. I trusted you. We trusted you. Are you kidding? Does it look like I'm kidding? And Madge was like, it doesn't look like he's kidding. You disappeared. If anyone has a right to be angry at you, it's the three of us. I thought you were dead. Your body didn't show up in the explosion, but we hadn't seen hide nor hair of you. I'm not dead. And you have the package. You abandoned us, and you put a target on our backs. You abandoned your mission. We saved your butt. And then you just leave? What, have you been following us this whole time? You opened the package. You knew what was inside. Tatik, the icicle comes down now, or murder will be the last thing you ever do. Do you want that on your conscience? Now. Okay, so. Well, there's a lot cool. happening here. Yeah, of course. Pretty cool. Okay. Whoa. Well, uh, Magical's like, yeah. can we? Magical. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, sorry, bro. Um, uh, sounds like you're trying to intimidate an NPC. Yeah, I feel like. Uh, bold strokes. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Oh, bold stroke. Oh, bold. oh boy. Bold Madrible is a sacrifice I am willing to make. As long as the uh, recording device Does anyone else happy? know how to use Fuck. this equipment? Literally no. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll figure it out. Uh, I believe that is eight. I'm just going to double check. Okay. Uh, so, yes. I get to choose whether Tatik runs to escape or whether he backs down but keeps watch, he gives in with a few stipulations, or he attacks you but off balance. Repeat your assertion here. Uh, the icicle comes down now, or killing a man will be the last thing you ever do, and you don't want that on your conscience. And then I think I said icicle down now. Are the two of you doing anything? This is just for me to pick the thing. The role's made, he's... Mm -hmm. Unless both of you want to help, in which case then you get to choose what he doesn't get to do. Mm -hmm. Then it goes up to a 10. Uh, you can have a look at what you look like right now in terms of fatigue, but I think all of you were pretty good. Oh, yeah, yeah. could help. Could I have contributed what I said to helping? Or would you like me to do something? Sure, no, no, that's fine. I would like to do that then, please. Just, if you're going to do that, then you should also Yeah, do I am going to help. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. So Thank you are you. helping? How are yes. you helping? Oh, you already took care of. Hmm? Did Don? No, did Don you already have? I already had a fit. One to you. Okay. Here we go. Thank you. You like adopting a threatening stance, or you? We have you outnumbered. There are more forces on the plateau. All right. So then you can choose one of the things that he can't do. 
run away, back down, give in with a few stipulations, or attack you but off balance. I will say that if you say attack you, this includes Mandrible, so like he won't attack us. But off balance is probably the best, right? We don't want him. To we don't want. We him don't to want him. That's correct. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather not run as well, but like that's okay. Um, yeah, let's let's we'll take attack we off have the Airbendy McGee, which we can hopefully. We are we are going to take attack <laughs> off the, off the menu. Thank you. <laughs> Eat that Airbendy. Where am I going? <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> I'll put this down. But you're going to have to promise that you'll let me leave the spirit world. Once we're finished talking here. Okay, so you're acting like we lured you in here for some kind of nefarious purpose. You followed us. Magical's like, you could agree to it. <laughs> that would be cool. We're not uh. trying... We don't mean you any harm, Tatik. I don't know what your feelings are towards us, but we have only ever protected you and stood up for you. So of course you can leave the spirit world. We aren't gonna trap you here. The icicle melts and just splashes on the ground and Magical's like, ah, as it gets on his shoes. Real, he's he's whining about his shoes. <laughs> yeah, see, he's not whining, whining he's about not his whining. shoes. <laughs> Just a you know I unit. bought these shoes in <laughs> the Fire Nation. They were not cheap. <laughs> can I airbend some earth to nut him from between? Wait, no, I don't want to. You don't can, you can wanna... airbend some earth <laughs> to <laughs> nut him. <laughs> nut him. You want to? No, I'm not going to do that. You can change your, uh, your bending power. <laughs> I love that. You're bending now. Specialty in... No, the earth below him, like to come. Oh, up, so like, earth a, bends some like air. Yeah. yeah. Oh, did I say air? I meant earth. Sorry. <laughs> earth bend a column to <laughs> right in the. That's amazing. But you do it just, just barely graze. <laughs> so just enough so like, oh, oh, as opposed to you know yeah. direct contact. Yeah, I know. I think we're missing I'll, the, I'll, the bigger. You can rustle this. <laughs> I think we're missing the forest for the trees here a little bit, guys. <laughs> air bend somewhere. Wow, that was a. Oh my god. All right. Ah. Thanks for going oh. on that journey with me, friends. <laughs> We promise. Wait, man. Oh, yeah, we already get to The Kyoshi warriors are compromised. And he yes. points at uh, Kai Ming, mm. who's standing there, you know, with her war fans out. She's compromised. I had to make it clear that the mirror scale was no longer present, that it was gone, destroyed. How did you do that? I arranged f to fake my own death. People almost died as collateral of that move. We almost died as collateral of that move. It was a price I was willing to make, and it should be one that you are too. Pay, not make, pay. Yes. Our own lives. Yes. For you to continue to hold on to this package for the rest of your life. And the advantage is that somebody gets a hold of something that can make sure that they have ultimate control over both the spirit and the physical realm. If ultimately protecting the mirror scale was your goal, you failed abysmally yes. at it. You threw it blocks away. You escaped. That you didn't was even not come back intended. to it. Intended. Okay. You had ample opportunities to come and see us in private and speak to us. You did not. No. We know that you were delivering gold to the traitorous Kiyoshi warrior. How are we supposed to trust you? Tatik, honestly, please give us something. I was hired by Takata. To? To deliver gold from hidden cache to various places around the world. Where was this hidden cache? Slightly outside of Fire Fountain City. 
gold that was stolen from your family's coffers. He's sweating. Whose cash? The Kyoshi warrior known as Sela stole the gold and then hid it. She couldn't leave with it because clearly there were still enough people trying to find out who had taken the gold. So she stashed it and then left. What do you want to take? When I figured out that the mirror scale was in possession of the of her, I stole it. I put it in a package. I sealed it. And then I didn't know what to do with it. So I kept it. Wait, hold on. So does that mean all of this stuff about you being given the package by a fire sage who was then assassinated? Was that a lie? I delivered the package to Snow. The fire sages had it because Tatik wanted it. They were holding it for her. I got it. Mm. Yes. And I stole it. But I knew that I couldn't destroy it, and I knew that I couldn't trust anyone with it. So I kept it. But I've been tracked for a very long time by the Southern Water Tribe. Oh, so you led them to us? Yes. You're the reason why yes. everyone has been yes. imprisoned. What? And you had the audacity to come here and start threatening us? It sounds like, logically speaking, we should be on the same side. How dare you, Tatik? You were in league with her. And he points again to Kai Ming. You're in league with all of the Kyoshi warriors. I saw the way that you buddied up to them. I saw the way that you took the mirror scale and that you've used it. Satik, it is not the entire entirety of the Kyoshi warriors. It was one. And this, this is not that one. I am sorry if he points like it is very clearly the one. So you were buying tea from the very same person in Republic City as you were paying at on Kyoshi Island. I didn't deliver the gold directly to somebody on Kyoshi Island. I was leaving things behind at a house. Eek. This isn't Sela. She has a twin sister. Kai Ming. Your landlady. Tatik, it does sound like we are indeed on the same side. If you're trying to keep the mirror scale from Takata's hand, so are we. But she's on Takata's side. No. Her, we... Her sister. Cummings' head just drops. Marched in. Under the ruse of following Takata's plan. In order to undermine that plan. Is there a way that you can prove this? Is there a way you can prove that anything you've said to this point is true, considering how many times you've lied to us? I can prove The it. fact... Because we're not entirely identical. Right? Exactly. Right. I you... don't know what you're talking about. They have... One of the two has a very distinguishing Just characteristic. Just listen to her. Okay, you owe her that. Uh... Sh Kaiming turns her back and then just loosens just enough so that she can slightly shrug the the heavy quilted clothing back so that it shows again a nice smooth 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 back. <laughs> Is 
Tilly was injured when she stole the gold. I know it's hard to believe, did you? Kata had me infiltrate the Southern Water Tribe. Tatik, what do you want? I need to protect the spirit world. However, I can. I have to make sure that nobody can get their hands on the mirror scale. Well, then we are in alliance. We have the same goal. But you've used it. You used the mirror scale. Yes. How would you even know that? I have. But how do you know that? Because she just confirmed it. Oh, okay. So you were jumping to assumptions again? <laughs> That's me, really me, nice, Tatik. Thank you so much. Uh, I am a member of the Order of Passage. How dare you assume that I don't have the best interests of the spirit world at heart? That you're the only one who can protect this place? I've had it up to here with you, Tatik. Like you know, doing one of these back in the back to like, <laughs> <laughs> to shake some sense into you for weeks and weeks and weeks because you just abandoned us and now you have the audacity to show up and be alive and to not believe our friends and to not believe us. You should be groveling for our forgiveness right now. I will grant not knowing our plan means that it certainly looks like there was to be a military incursion into the spirit just world. Just some of us are really good actors. Some, some, some. And it did, it would seem that way. But we then never. What's the plan? I don't think we can trust you with it. To be honest, I'm not sure that we can trust him with anything. Did he you... tried to have us killed. Well, you killed. Then later on. Partially me killed. And where do you get a hold of a combustion bender anyway? Good question. And Val points it now, like, uh huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the equipment to make those explosives. I didn't make the explosives. But you delivered them. Yes? To disrupt the incursion. Yes using the powers of the spirit realm to theoretically protect the spirit realm. We cannot trust you, Tatik. So if you want to leave the spirit world and go tell on us and ruin our actions, we said we wouldn't stop you from leaving. What are you planning on doing? No. No, I, I'm, I'm not sure we owe you anything else. You don't understand what we've been through. Everything oh. that we've been fighting for, you basically have prolonged it and, and made it harder on everyone. And they don't owe you anything. They don't owe you a word of what they're planning. They don't owe you any reassurances. They barely owe you your life. Kaiming was almost drowned trying to protect the ship from sinking so that everyone else could get off of it. Oh, I would have done that anyway. Ah, sorry, I'm, I'm undermining you. <laughs> you wouldn't have needed to do any of that if he hadn't helped bomb the ship we were on. I didn't help bomb the ship. Oh, so that same device just magically appeared on the ship. The forces you were helping. We're going to do what's right. We're going to do the same thing we've been doing this whole time. We aren't going to abandon our mission. We aren't going to botch a failed suicide cover-up. Explode, whatever. Uh, none right. of the words were not correct. <laughs> botch assassination. Assassination, oh, oh, thank you. Right. Yeah, I was like, plan, self-kill, fake, <laughs> bad. Plan, self-kill, fake. Yeah. Very good, yeah. Yeah. 
Thought just assassination. I have no trouble. Uh, I have no problem with gathering additional support allies for what we are about to do. But it seems my friends don't trust you, Tatik. And you know, playing all sides. Have you not? I'll be very honest. I'm not sure he's going to be able to get out of the spirit realm. If the Southern Water Tribe is still there, he's been impersonating them this entire time. Yeah, they were pretty mad when I mentioned his name. So... I could collect quite the sum. But... I also... Practical thing. <laughs> I also will yield to what we decide. So, Tatik? Listen, I'm not Sawan. I need the money. <laughs> no, I respect it. <laughs> so, Tatik, make your choice. What do you plan to do with the... And then Kaiming just goes, no! No, the choice isn't dependent on what we're doing. Your choice is yours. And no one else's. You trusted us once, I think, Tatik. You met us, you saw something in us that gave you pause, that gave you a reason to trust. Just make sure that the mirror scale isn't in the wrong hands and won't stop you. Unbelievable. Maybe if I do enough acrobatics, I can pretend that was an apology. It's not. No, it's He's not. He's an intelligent man. He knows how to apologize if he meant to. What are you going to do, Tatik? Disappear. You seem to be very good at that. Disappear, and I won't tell anyone else about what you've done. I won't let on that you've had the mirror skin this time. I didn't tell anyone else up until this point. So you claim? You would know. Why would a set of sirens go off saying lies, lies, lies? Because that's certainly what the inside of my head has been saying about everything you've said this far. I have a question for you. You'll disappear. Let's say that you're caught. That's not a threat. I just want to know, do you see yourself doing the right thing if you are? I'd die for this world. I'd die for the spirits within it. Haven't you seen? They're not even approaching us. They're scared of us. Ha is, by the way, definitely oh, still clinging to you. Sure, I mean, brought Ha to see the face dealer. It's brutal. However, mm -hmm. he is saying the truth here. Yep. You are not being approached by spirits the way that you normally would while you're here. They are steering clear of you. There is dread mm. here. We don't intend any harm to this place either. But are you willing to admit all of the things that you've done for a paycheck? All of the things that you've done that perhaps you may regret today? I don't know. I don't know. If he's not, I could use a paycheck. If Takata is brought to trial, will you appear to stand witness? Yes, fine, yes. What did she have on you? You've been doing her bidding for years. I know that she got a lot of her other cronies because she was blackmailing them, so what about you? I quickly turned to Kaiming. Not a crony. You're not all cronies. Because I am a Northern Water Tribe spy. And she knew. I've done things in the service of the Northern Water Tribe, which were they to get out, 
it would destabilize the tentative peace between the two water tribes. I'm not proud of that, but it is the truth. You have your honor code. You think you ha you have inclinations to what you believe is right and wrong. You've theoretically been acting that in accordance with those. Yes. Is there anything else we need from him? I'll stand trial, but I'm not going to betray my nation. Of course not. We're not interested in that. I really thought you were our friend. The spies don't get to have friends. She does. I mean, she's not a spy, I guess, but it feels like they're neighbors a little bit. I am pointing at now, Oda. I'm happier with friends. Friends like these. That was uh, coming? No, that, that was no. no. Okay, cool. So, if your nation just forbids you from doing such a thing, maybe it's not a nation worth protecting. Oh well. I'll find my next coin somewhere else. If you do the right thing. That was very good. Pray she doesn't. Best. Pray she doesn't have to find you to take. I'll stay in Republic City. I'll give you one month. After that, I disappear. If there is no public trial to attend, it's because Takata chose to not have one, because she chose something else. But I imagine you'll see her disappear from the public eye one way or the other. Check the tea shop. After one month, I'll have a written record of everything that I've done for her. Signed. I'll either appear at the trial or you'll have that. That's what I'm offering. Well then. Enjoy your solitary life. And Bao turns away from him and starts walking away from the swamp. Away from them. I mean, I really want to follow suit, but I will go over to go for a handshake first. The shake on it. He shakes. In his boots. Ah! Oh! Uh, Dawn stands just like staring at him with her arms crossed. That you're the one carrying it, aren't you? I'm not about to turn my back on you. Fine. And he turns and he starts to walk away. And Madrival just... <sighs> and just... Oh, oh, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna, like, like run to Madrival. You've been through a lot today. And he reaches down and he pulls out of his pocket a large box with some gears running in it and then he click what the heck is that a recording of everything that he just said smadrival i could kiss you okay oh i, I don't think young Su was expecting that <laughs> Huh. Don is watching Tatik leave, so she's right there. Uh, <laughs> For watching us that happens, she's, yeah, okay. she's, she's right leaving, there. You hear, you hear a very low, very whispered, or I could take care of him. Oh. She immediately mm -hmm. schools her face. Mm -hmm. 
I bow. No. Thank you, Co. Fair enough. Uh, after a few moments, Tatik is out of sight. Where to? Do you think that he'll make good on his promise? He's a man of honor in some strange, strange way that I don't understand. I get the impression that I believe him if he's trying to save this world. The Northern Water Tribe is like that. Incredibly strange way of going about it. But to each their own. We all have our own journeys. I'm, I'm so hurt and insulted that he would just jump to assuming that I wouldn't care about this place. I can never forgive that. It won't help if I say maybe he thought that you were in trouble, that you, that she had something over you, no. that you... Not all of us are so easily blackmailed. Okay. I look at timing again. It's he not says he just... would do anything to protect this place. Clearly he wouldn't. Well, you could always, you know, you're a seeker of the Order of Passage. You're the ones who can find knowledge. Find the library. Or you could always, I guess, seek his passage to a different life. <laughs> I don't think that's quite how... I mean, far be it for me, I'm not... I don't know the Order very well. Wow. Yes. Um... The soldiers surrendered to the Southern Water Tribe. They did. Do you think we need... Do you think there's a way to help them? I don't see them being harmed. I think that Jai made his choice and he chose the most peaceful outcome. When we leave, we will hopefully have enough to reveal to sort things. We do. I can feel it. And as soon as we've done that, as soon as Takata is dealt with one way or the other, we go back to Jai. We go back to them. And we try to get the Southern Water Tribe Special Forces to understand what's really happened. And that everything is safe. That the spirit world is protected. And then I'm going to need a nap. Seeker. So on. Where to? Takata, I guess. Can you lead us back to the spirit portal? You know what? Yes, I can. While well, we're here. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what about the mirror scale? see what it does oh no wait i've already looked yeah, at it yeah. Yeah. Looked in never it. mind i still believe that the best place for it is the library and you have no idea where it is i know that it is either in the it's the siwan desert right i think that sounds right, but I... Uh, I'll find it. The uh, last time an entrance to the library was documented, it was there, but there should logically also be an entrance in the spirit world. Because it bridges the two worlds, right? The Siwang Desert. Siwang Desert. Siwang? Siwang. Siwang. Siwang Desert. Does it hurt our case if we still have it? It's a distraction for sure. Oh. I see. I don't... Obviously, I don't want Takata to ever be able to get it. But where on earth could we leave it where it would be safe? If we don't know where the library is. You can find the library. You haven't tried. You haven't tried. 
oh, I'm sure, Yong Su, I'm sure it's as easy as just, she takes out the mirrors. I was just taking out the mirror scale and going, where is the library? The mirror not working that way. <laughs> <laughs> See? You. Bao, like, really looks away from being able to look at it. Mm. You, you learn something from Chu. We're here in the spirit world. This would be the best place to find the entrance to it. Would it not? Not in- That's in you the, talking it away? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Not in a desert that's inhospitable and, and intraversible. How dare you? I, some of my best friends are deserts. <laughs> you do hear how that sounds, right? <laughs> <laughs> you hear how that sounds. My first though. boyfriend was a desert, okay? <laughs> Jesus. I... <laughs> Cold, and of course, and rough, course, rough, irritating. What happened to him at night? <laughs> oh, he put on those ugly ass. But you know what? Never mind. Just. I mean, if y'all are down, I, I would of course love to try. I just feel bad dragging you all around on this. The spirits. West. Now that the army has left, perhaps the spirits will return to us. Perhaps they can help us. Perhaps they'll understand the importance of our journey. We're here. We may as well make an effort. We don't have to try for the next month, but we could try for the next hour or two or three. Okay. We have enough evidence to expose Takata, force her to make a choice. And if she has the chance to grab the mirror scale, she'll from take us, it. Exactly. There's a distraction right now. Southern special forces have appeared. I doubt that was in Takata's plan. She's taken the military force that she sent in away. Her first colonist is missing. Ooh, ooh. This is a wrench in her plans that will hopefully buy us some time. time. Should we all have said that in unison? Apparently. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> buy us some time. Buy us if some you time. Back <laughs> and you're still holding on to the mirror scale, then she could accuse us of having an alternative motive. Hmm. Don, like, plants her feet and tries to get a feel for the ground while this is happening. So you are in... Are, are you leaving the swamp? Or yeah. Or staying in the swamp? Leaving the swamp just to get, like, some solid earth under That's her. That's probably good. So that she and can feel the vibrations. Yeah. Yeah, 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 far away from Co. So there is earth under the, yeah. the, the, like, bog, bogginess. Yeah. You can't... You don't have to leave the swamp in order to... He wants to be... Feel. Put some distance yeah. between them and Co. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. No more co? Co no mo. Co no mo? <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, hey, I remember that. Uh, it's a long time ago, folks. Yeah, well. Long before RPG Clinic was even a glimmer in Scott's balls. <laughs> oh my god, I don't think that's quite Is that where it came from. Anyway. So when you head out of the of the bog. Just before you sort of go back to sort of that savanna like mm. plane, you just hear, or you could trust me. <laughs> that was cool. Not that. <laughs> that? <Yeah. laughs> okay. Thank you for your hospitality, Co. As you wish continues walking okay you're now back in the savannah the stars above you are streaking like not just you know <laughs> not one star or like mm. a shooting star but they're all just moving way too fast as if time is accelerated here interesting uh this does not seeker necessarily mean that time is accelerating here just that <laughs> oh, this area things are moving faster than perhaps they normally would um from the bog now that you're slightly outside it uh you see the occasional eye kind of point peek out from behind some of the gnarled trees uh from below as well you are being watched but you are not being approached okay. uh once once don reaches an area that that's more sandy um that's when she's gonna 
uh, ground herself in and and try to activate seismic sense to sense for just to sense what's around yeah yeah she's she, trying to get she a feel very for this specifically place. was like you can't look that's it you gotta just that's sense. it like, she's getting so she's getting a feel for the place and seeing what sensations come to her okay so you need to assess a sitch a sit chew hey um oh actually can i use can i use uh wait and listen my move that allows me to roll with focus instead of creativity yes. i'm gonna spend a fatigue to do that one fatigue uh young su is is keeping an eye on the on the tree line um it's about time yeah shit happens man um yeah snake eyes yeah can, so what's that total five? so that's that total? five so we could uh yeah oh 100 percent. we are yeah. trying so you pull this out from a snake eye <laughs> yeah work. all right so um yeah don is like uh really digging into the earth and waiting and listening to the surroundings just to try to see what comes to her. Mm -hmm. um, I think Young Su. Oh, thanks, Ranty. <clears throat> Young Su uh, is going to help this by walking in a very slow kind of perimeter. Or, mm, I shouldn't be walking because then you'll just be sensing me, probably. Mm -hmm. uh, he's making a show of showing his uh, empty palms to the perhaps watching spirits around okay. so that they don't feel threatened. But I was going to airbend to hopefully disrupt, um, like, any breezes in the trees to try to still the air. Ooh. Yeah, to try to still the air so that there's no other sounds coming. Blue Thanks, air, folks. like, always. Uh, therefore, you get to ask one question. What ear can I use to find the library? You already know what you need to use to find the library. You've been told, so I'm going to suggest okay. you may want to ask a different question. That light, right? The light that brings life or whatever. Yeah. What should I be on the lookout for? Hmm. There is an injured spirit. It is somewhere close. Uh, she immediately starts moving towards the spirit. So uh, Don gets up, starts walking. Did, did you? What is it like here? Mm, mm, like, mm. She's so well, focused that trying she to, doesn't like, answer. Hold this pocket of non-moving <laughs> air around Don, being like. Uh, sure. <laughs> There's a uh, so close to the bog but not quite at the bog. Um, there's a few rotting trees that are on the ground. Um, the trees are rotting in such a way that it, it shows the, the beauty of decomposition in a way, uh, showing that some parts of the bark, parts that had to deal with lightning strikes or whatever, have burned slightly into the core of the tree. Um, the insects that are crawling over it, helping it to decompose, all sort of look up as you approach. But then you hear from underneath, no further. She immediately stops. And this wisp of smoke comes out from under the trees and then forms itself into a large, vaguely trapezoid figure. It doesn't have a face, but it has seven eyes oh. around it. Uh, and it floats. It does not, by the way, look injured. It is not what you're sensing. Okay. No, not any further. No, not you. Not any of you. I could sense that someone here is injured. I don't mean any of you any harm. Yes, you're not supposed to help. No one's supposed to help. It's not fair. It's not fair at all. Why is it not fair? Because you're the one who injured. Does this have to do with the explosions at camp? No. What? I don't know what you're talking about. No. It was one of you, one of your kind, that injured this one. No further. So no spirit can ever help if one spirit has hurt someone? 
Who is this? Someone very wise. You don't smell wise. I'm just learning to be wise. That wasn't made this way unlike you. Covers this way and that. I don't know how to get this spirit home. I don't know how to get it home. Could we see them? You're not going to hurt it, are you? Promise. You're not going to hurt me, are you? You have our word. We will not. Uh, okay, you're pleading. Yeah. La, 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 la. Thank you. I'm just going to burn through all of your oh. fatigue as you start. 13. Fuck oh, your yeah. rolls. Oh, oh, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I mean, hey. Oh, we're just so tired of rolling snake eyes. 13. 13? Okay. Yeah. Meanwhile, John quietly microwaved all our dice so they don't roll ones. That's okay. <laughs> the spirit moves some of the wood away, and underneath you see a, uh, a fox spirit. Mm. Its breathing is labored. It is... Uh, lying on the ground uh, you can see that its uh, legs have been uh, burned mm. uh, Don looks very like surprised but happy to see one Hi. <laughs> she very very slowly holds out her hand to sniff the trapezoid's like oh Okay, fine. The fox spirit drags itself up. And then you see it cannot put pressure on its paws. Its paws have have been scorched. She puts her hand in close enough. Close enough that a spirit will be able to smell her hand. And it falls asleep. It's definitely asleep. It's still, mm -hmm. you know, it's kicking a little bit. Oh, cute. Aww. Aww. It's chasing a snapmobile. <laughs> and yes, fox spirits. <laughs> fox spirits are traditionally the ones that do make deliveries to and from the library. Mm -hmm. But this one can't go anywhere. Um, Don looks at the the, the wispy smoke spirit. I'm a seeker. I was chosen by one of these fox spirits when I was very young. We're looking for the library, Wan Chi Tong's library. So I think we're going to the same place. And she points to the, the fox spirit. If you'll let me, I'd really like to help them. I don't know where the library is. This one might. This one can't even walk. I, I might, could carry them. I might be able to help with that. Maybe. I don't know how everything works in the spirit world, but this worked back in the other place. Um, uh, Yongsu is going to, yeah, Yongsu is going to prepare a salve, much like he did in episode one. <laughs> the oh my back. god! Uh, it's, you know what, that means that you're relying on your skill. skill and drink. <laughs> Thank you. It, um, essentially using the cleanest water he can find, grass and mud to create essentially a paste that he will then bandage around the fox's feet. It might make it do well. We'll, we'll talk about that later. Anyway, let's see. Mm. Rely on your skills and training. S eight. Okay. I can't count eight. Um, so you can apply this, this poultice. Pult yeah. Uh, to the feet and the fox won't struggle as long as you're present done um but it's not going to make it easier for the fox to mm. to walk yeah. it will however now heal mm. properly something but who knows how long that's going to take that's right oh lemon eaters a fruit vendor i'm a garlic vendor apparently <laughs> yes delicious yeah, Young Su is applying this sort of like this paste essentially. Night is starting to become darker and darker here. 
the stars as they're streaking across the sky are leaving one by one. Even the moon is setting, and no sun is coming to replace it. Oh god, so dark. Still speaking to the wisp spirit, what do you think? I'll carry this little one. And what? Where will you go? We will try to find the library. How? You know what? It's your problem now. Very gently picks up. So the foxes, the fox spirits are actually, they're, they're pretty big. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So you can carry, but Ugh. like it's it's a it's a it's a carry. It's a heavy carry. You're probably not going to be able to carry the fox like this alone for a long period of time. Maybe if you made it made a litter. Mm -hmm. Could I make a litter out of sand and kind of like bend it along beside me? Like a little like an a little chair. And then it goes <laughs> or not. <laughs> Maybe that's so, so, to be clear, a motorized chair made of sand. <laughs> so <laughs> So it, it's weird because um yes, you can, but you'll be constantly bending. So that's it a... will fatigue you after yeah. a while. Okay. In much the same way that, you know, like you can lift somebody on rocks and then let the rocks fall away and then they'll fall into the water, right? Like, there's mm -hmm. defenders do that, but. Bog? A bog. So there might be fallen branches and stuff nearby? Yeah, that would be. Yeah, it would make something Great. good. Old yeah, I was going to find a couple of long poles and um, some vines or whatever and lash them together to basically make a long stretcher that we can drag. Or nice. share, like you could, yeah, yeah. You could also definitely create like fields up through uh, their instruction in order to make it so that it's easy to, to cart along. But it's it's a probably more sustainable solution than consistently bending over mm. hours. Cool, cool. So done. Assists with that. Okay. Uh, well, now you're relying on your skills and training. Yep, Ooh. no problem. Mm. Uh, Young Su's going to approach. Uh, so that task mm -hmm. done while this other, I guess, while this other task is in progress, is going to approach um, now Oda. We're going to need some light if we're going to continue on this journey. I don't know how exhausting it would be to. I don't know, create some for us, or uh, we can make little torches, makeshift torches. Uh, at the sound of torches, the fox's eyes snap open, and there's a whine. Oh. You're safe. You're safe, I promise. We're trying to bring you home. It's paws in the little, like, poultices. No, oh, sort of oh, curl. Oh, no. At the, at, at the mention of fire okay. of torches. Oh, no. We're trying to get you home to to Wan Shi Tong. Can you help us? And then Ha goes, Ha. What? And then what? climbs oh. down onto the litter and climbs up next to the fox and just. <laughs> well, that's nice. Good job, buddy. Which does not do anything, but, you know. In the, yeah, in the heart. It does something in the heart, you okay. know? <laughs> if we can't have fire to light the way, how are we supposed to see where we're going? I don't know. Did Chu tell you what to do? Chu, no. Chu told it, me Chu. that I needed to not seek anything. I needed to be open to what information would would just present itself and then Mason said i needed a light that brings life i didn't know i'd be looking in the spirit world this is um a light that brings life you're doing great yeah you're gonna be fine okay we're all gonna be fine well is it just that you need light yeah well Sounds like we need something specific. A light that brings life. Now shifts a little bit. 
wouldn't that be the sun or, or perhaps some sort of spiritual firefly? Yeah. Firefly grasshopper, obviously. Sorry. Because there's fire. And there's fire. Uh, I'm not from the Fire Nation. I'm going to need a crash course on what you're talking about. So, who would know about Now's particular training? Yeah. Poss possibly. Yeah. Right? Oh, no, I guess you guys yeah, spoke no, about she, it, right? Yeah, she had said some stuff, which is not in my brain anymore. <laughs> I'm like, I know she told me some important and interesting things about so what type of firebending. She learned firebending fire specifically, no, from the Sun Warriors. Yeah, sun yeah, warriors. yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the Fire Sages. Right. So, firebending often comes from within it's an expression of force it's an expression of power or of emotion whereas the sun warriors uh have fire derived and of life mm. that it it's Damn. it comes from things like the sun that it is energy as opposed to emotion that it it, it isn't something that comes without control mm. it's not something that comes from a burn within it is not necessarily a better form of firebending, but it is a different form of firebending. Interesting. And you would know this, having then been surrounded by fire. That would put two and light. two together, uh, and be like, and that there's fire. We'll need a receptacle for it. I mean, <laughs> she oh. holds out the mirror scale. And as you hold out the mirror scale, that trapezoidal wisp, it comes back. <laughs> Wait, what's that? It's something we're bringing to the library. It is an offering for Wan Shi Tong. May I have a look? Damn it, Traffy. No, no, no. Put some water in it first. Yes, that's that's exactly what I would like to see. And it hovers over. Are you sure you should be doing this? And it looks in. Oh. Oh, I see. Very interesting. And then it splits away from the mirror scale. Thank you. You're welcome. Sploosh. <laughs> and it <laughs> zooms into the box. Is this one of those, when a butterfly flaps its wings, a bunch of people die somewhere? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I'm not a chaostician. So we want to hide it away, but we're going to let anyone who asks use it until then? It didn't feel right to keep it from everybody, just the ones that I know want to use it for ill. Mm. I'm not the boss of this. For now, you are. But just for now. Here. And now looks to the three of you. Well, four of you. Cummings there as well. And what's his name? Madrival. Madrival. Oh, he's chilling. <laughs> Madrival's like recording all this shit. Yeah, he's like, the fuck is going on out there? <laughs> and from her chest, she draws her hand and places it out, uh, letting this odd streak of light come out and then roll from her hand into the mirror scale itself, providing just the slightest glow around you. Mm. Wow. Uh, is there something happening with the flame or in the mirror scale now that it's there the mirror scale now feels warm but not hot uh it is starting to glow and emit light and the fox spirit perks up it's not afraid of this and then rolls a little bit on the litter that you created and then just sets its snout and goes and then very deliberately just hangs 
<laughs> it's snout just over the edge of the litter. That's amazing. Come on, let's go. That way. She points in the direction that the snout is pointing. Yeah, I mean, yep. yeah. Uh, Youngsu's happy to carry one end of this litter. The, the fox spirit is skittish. So um, I should point out that anybody who is currently carrying the litter, there's no problem. But you have to let me know if you have any active uh, electronics on you. Uh, I don't know. Like We aren't currently using the communication devices, but I think we each have. Right. Yeah. Yes, we do. Yeah, th those aren't on, okay. so they, okay. they don't count. Um, and none of you are currently carrying any fire. Right? No. Okay. I'm I'll carrying ask... a deactivated bomb in my yeah, back. The de deactivated bomb is <laughs> a book. Until I drop I will, I will that insist that it not be Madrival who carries the other end of the... Not that Madrival would want to anyway, probably. Madrival is like, uh, no, I, I'll stay ten paces back. And there's this this weird kind of look that he has as he looks over at Don and then to the rest of you. You're not who I expected you to be. I don't think this film is going to be this. Sorry, mover. I don't think this mover is going to be what you expected either. No. I expected you to be. Uh, rubes. Everybody who gets involved with Council of is a rube, myself included. We, we, I, well, I don't want to speak for anyone but myself. I have been, certainly at least at one point. But I think we found something that we had to do, something that's more important than her. The fox's snout keeps kind of moving over the top of the litter, and. Every once in a while, it, it looks confused and then it sniffs the air and Ha just goes with one of its little stubs. Oh, cute. And the fox goes, uh -huh. oh. But you're going Friendship. in an odd direction. You're certain that at some point it's turned and gone almost back directly the way that it came. You are not headed in a straight line. Uh, Don doesn't seem disturbed by this. <laughs> for what it's worth. Okay. Bao is putting their trust in Don's spirit world knowledge, so if Don doesn't seem upset, Bao is, doesn't seem upset. Yongsu is a little <laughs> less uh, confident. <laughs> Should we see... Oh, God. There's a reason it hasn't been found. Because it's not easy to find doesn't make sense. It doesn't follow the usual channels. We have to trust. You were told not to seek. Are we seeking? And then you hear a small yip. It sounds like this. Yip. <laughs> oh, yeah. She turns to look at the fox. The fox has pulled its snout off the top of the litter and is uh, curled up. You're standing very close to where you were, Savannah. Um, Bald. It almost seems like you traced a pattern. You can see the like broken grass. Um, however, as the grass is broken, it's sort of writing itself back up again. Kind of like it. Have any of you ever played a thing called Domino Rally? I've heard of. It. Okay, so it's basically just dominoes that are set in a little track, but the thing is, once you've knocked it over, you can lift the track and they oh, all kind of come back and they go oh, back, cool. nice. back up. So the grass is also doing the same thing. Um, but you're in the same location that you were before. Stars have now all completely gone out. The only light oh. is the light and the mirror scale that you're carrying almost as if every step that you took took another star out and now it's just inky blackness surrounding you um are we here with the mirror scale in her hands she 
takes careful steps into what feels like the center of this like design that they traced and she like stands there a moment to see if she can sense anything that's where all of you are at the moment okay and as you are sensing now you've sensed this area before there's nothing in the earth that implies that the library is beneath you around you she looks up yeah it's just inky black Maybe we need to go up higher? You can get on my shoulders, but it won't be much higher. I was thinking even higher. So. It looks up. A seeker has come. Oh, Crazy. Uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Lol, good one. <laughs> <laughs> a seeker has been led here by a fox spirit. She is here to give you something. The wind starts to pick up. But it's surrounding you. It's not blowing in one direction, almost as if you're in the eye of a storm. We are not here to take a view. It's still very dark above, but... See, that that's the weird thing. Normally, if you look up on a, like, cloudless moonless yeah night. like you look up you can usually see stars yeah. if there's cloud cover then you look up and you don't really see much of anything um but that means the stars aren't gone but there's just cloud cover there the stars don't disappear up here that's strange so that i'm just trying to picture there are stars right now no oh there aren't no all of them winked out Okay. But why would the stars go out? Why would the stars leave? Or are they just covered? Right, exactly. Yeah. If it is, if it is the library in the sky covering <laughs> the stars, how do we get there? Yeah, yeah exactly. My question. Because um, I could sand bend us so up to a certain height, yeah. but I don't know if that would get us high enough. I can try. I can try. Like a sweet ass staircase. Or like a raised yeah it probably makes more sense to make a big pillar <laughs> don will try to bend the sand under them to create a up like pillar. An upswell yeah okay uh so or like slowly yeah. slow cool. yes yeah slowly. cool yeah uh it, the ground beneath you starts to tremble this is a significant thing i'm gonna actually have to mark a fatigue for you sure uh and as you start rising up 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 uh the weight of this oppressive darkness starts to sag down on your shoulders as you're going further up. It's becoming more and more difficult for you to lift the sand, but you're pressing up against something. Uh, mm, I was going to take the current rotation of the wind uh, and try to create a bit of a, also curve it a bit over their heads to form a dome to hopefully create some outward pressure. Um, so that we can perhaps raise a bit more easily. Mm. Okay, Bow, I'm giving also you fatigue. a fatigue. As now there's an airbender and an earthbender going through here. Uh, the fox spirit has its head tilted up as if it's like, huh, holy shit, anticipating this. Uh, now and Kai Meng are, uh, you know, now is doing what she can to continue to provide the light that she needs. Kai Ming looks to you that was yeah um and she just reaches out and she puts her hand against yours there's a a brief moment where he doesn't respond but it, before she can take her hand away he closes his hand around hers 
And then abruptly, you burst through the black and the library upside down suspended in the air above you looms there's a door the door is uh, it has a, a huge knob <laughs> just uh, dead set in the door itself but these two are way too busy with their bending uh, the black is now the dome is still pushing mm -hmm. that black away but it is constantly threatening to push back in um, and you are continuing to keep the sand aloft what do you do? <clears throat> seeing this I mean it, despite the fact that it's upside down um, Young Su is going to reach for it with the hand that's holding Kai Ming so that they're reaching for it together. So gonna... what do you grab together with Kai Ming? I, Kai Ming and I are going to grab the door's knob. It's very large. We're going to reach out to try to open the door. Just before you open the door, I think it's time to take a break. Woo! Okay. Yep. Uh, you're going to see some ads if you're not subscribed, but I think you're all subscribed because Yay! of the lot, so, Thanks, uh, everyone. It's a great time to ask us some questions. Uh, uh, just to wash room at some point, but I'll be good for now. Yeah. Mm. Excellent. Love that. Am I going to be eaten by a big owl? It is, <laughs> it is a non-zero chance. <laughs> I require a sacrifice. This is the mirror scale. I was thinking more him. He looks tasty. Oh, no, my God. What the shit? Love it. No, Eric, no. Are they ruffles? Commercial breaks are just because otherwise, if somebody tunes into the channel and we haven't run ads, they get served ads instead. Mm. Um, I'm not necessarily certain this is the the right call because the thing is we i'm subscribed to the channel i don't know what it's like that's it right like right? i haven't experienced it on my channel either because i i i can't, I can't. like it's <laughs> like i'd have to you know you know uh strange but uh we have learned that some people really like having a break so that you can you know grab a snack grab a knob butter of butter to make to, a snack yeah you can heat up some you, but popcorn you can make some yeah popcorn. you could you could heat up some coconut oil mm -hmm. slather it all over yourself oh all over yourself <laughs> i'm really interesting in, interrupting some hot jot action. hot jot action there's no such thing as hot jot, hot jot oh it's always <laughs> spicy it's always lukewarm oh oh, oh spicy on the other way okay. oh. uh Soon this curtain may just extend across the whole surface. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna save that one, Ellie Spot, so that we can ask uh, when Scott gets back because yeah. uh, that is too amusing a question for me. Making commercial breaks, throws chips. Yeah, Clifford. I mean, cliffhangers are an unfortunate reality, and as long as Twitch has these policies, we're going to do it. But we might have to look into it uh, just to make sure that we're not, you know, doing ads unnecessarily. We will still do breaks, though. That 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 seems like a good call. Well, the ads should only show for people who show up, and you do still need ads to avoid pre-rolls. So, yeah. you know, there's a gap of time for... For just before the break and just before we end, where people also get pre rolls, but um, but yeah, uh, for what it's worth, uh, I'm looking forward to that curtain just because it's going to be such a such a change. Mm -hmm. Um, but what's next? Like, what's next? We're constantly tinkering with this uh, fucking setup. The keyboard drawer on the desk that you use popped out a few screws last week so we're looking to fix that that's thank to support from you folks that uh were able to solve problems as they arise because there are always more problems yeah. 
it is Make an unfortunate reality. That's amazing. Uh, yeah, that's why we just bought for fabric. Fabric. Woo! Thank you for gifting a sub. That's very kind. Um. Yeah, we we just bought fabric. We went to the fabric store, looked at some curtains, and then we went to their upholstery fabrics, and uh, yeah. It's, our CPU is running at seventy, which is a lot because OBS is showing two percent. Well, it, as in it's using two percent. Yeah. It's other things are, are running that's that's not a, a dangerous temperature it just makes me think that oh, maybe, 70 degrees yeah 70 okay. degrees i uh, thought you meant 70 percent no no like, no, no 70 are? degrees uh that's not a dangerous temperature it just makes me think i might want to just well make the sure the fan program for this computer every time i turn on the computer the fan program has a new update so maybe they just botch their update no okay uh -huh. no okay it, I do, I do agree. Sorry, I use yeah. the same program, and it really is like it's like every two days. They're like, we did a thing. I'm like, good for you. <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah. Uh, so there was a question while you were out. See, see. If Young Su could borrow any book at the library, which one would it be? Oh, that'd be great. Uh, um, uh, how to how to how to how to how to talk to women for dummies? How to win friends and influence? How to win people? friends and influence people it for would dummies? Be one of Arresta's like erotic oh, novels. Oh shit. He doesn't need those. He's got his imagination. That's what we use back on the farm. Imagination. Anyway, yes, how to win friends and influence people. We good on the break? It's so yeah. rolling seas. Yeah. The passionate breeze. The hay bale of... <laughs> Go to jail. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Like shit. <laughs> when I was class president, I know that's not what you said. <laughs> the door creaks open. And there's a small little platform. Now that the library has been turned upside down, obviously there isn't easy places for you to step. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> so... Uh, that uh, it, it kind of gives you a place to to haul up, but these two are still maintaining the ability to go up. So what do you do? Uh, well, I need to ferry them off the platform, off off of this earth platform. No, I I step off, and I'm going to. Can I, can I use my staff to essentially like help people climb yes. onto where I am? Yeah, there we go. Um, it does mean, however, that the litter that you've constructed uh, either has to be pulled up or just let go. I will as take, as the do whatever take the box you need to do to get the fox inside. Yes, the fox is <laughs> come here, buddy. Yeah. Uh, fox and Ha will come with us. As well as everybody else who's on the platform one by one. But I think we'll let the actual... Yeah, uh, Bao will scurry up and then resume the earth. Uh, and then, yeah. And Don will <laughs> stop the bending and then... <laughs> yeet! And use the... Yeah. 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 Yeet use my grab. staff! So, yeah, Young Su's holding the knob and extending his staff, which everyone else grabs onto. Great. The door swings shut behind you as the sand starts to fall away underneath and the darkness um as the door is closing the darkness kind of rolls back in once your airbending stops bow but then you're here in this small little alcove it's protected by the light that you have left in the mirror scale there's a ladder to head up this used to be one of the spires of the library um, eyes wide, she moves towards the ladder. Don, why didn't you tell us it's upside down? This is so much harder to navigate. What? I'm serious. I've never seen it. No one has seen it in hundreds of years. Decades. Right. 
Right. Right. Right. Well, go ahead. Well, not hundreds of years. Decades. I wasn't sure. So when, because when the Avatar managed to get there, did he make that widely known? That's a good question. Actually. Zhao had all previously been in the library as well. Right. Okay, that's true. Some other studious guy mm -hmm. that had theoretically been visiting. Oh, he stayed. Yeah, but he. <laughs> oh, that, oh, that guy. Yeah, yeah that's it. Forever. I more. I forgot about Zhao because I was like, yeah. who? Basically, who would have let the greater public know mm -hmm. that that it had been visited? Mm -hmm. um, okay, fine. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's definitely been a generation since anything. It's visited. been a long time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's fair. Jeez, Louise. I don't know. She can't even get that mad at him because she's like so excited. So it's very dark up there. Is it possible for now Oda to continue bending this firelight into the mirror scale as someone carries it up with one hand? <laughs> okay. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, just maintaining a flame is not that right. taxing. But once you get up through the trap door at the top of the of the ladder um, and out, it's well lit here there's plenty of light inside um as you can see the atrium spilling out to shelf upon shelf <gasps> who wrote all these like where did they come from everyone wrote these that's what makes this place so great Spirits and humans all contributed to the knowledge that is compiled here. Well, should we bring this to, you know? The... Just give me a minute. Okay. Bow sits near, near the door they came in. Right. Or hatch or whatever. Mm -hmm. Not one, but five. Oh god. The inside of the library begins to tremble as the air starts to move fast, faster than any airbender could. And then a looming presence in the atrium. An owl. Huge rises above you, its talons clacking along the stone floor. Not more who have chosen to find my library. Wan Shi Tong, sir? Yes. It is I, Wan Shi Tong, he who knows 10,000 things. It's such an honor to meet you. It is an honor to die. My name... And the talent oh, comes Jesus. up. Oh, God. My name is Don. I'm a seeker with the Order of Passage. The seekers are no longer welcome in my library. I come I bearing it. I come bearing the mirror scale. This is the only place it will be safe. Talents twitch just a little bit. We'll leave as soon as you take it if you want it. Otherwise, we'll leave with it if you don't want it. You're the Seeker, and you brought others with you. Yes. Why? Without their help, I would never have found you. Every feather ripples across Wan Chi Tong's body. We needed all of our knowledge combined to find this library, to access it. We mean you no harm. We mean this place no harm. Yep. This one was injured near the bogs. 
the owl's talons lower that its head just woof, gets oh. very close like to the point ah. where you can smell owl mm -hmm. uh filling your nostrils ah an undong poultice I have not seen one in 175 years. It was expertly applied. Thank you, great spirit. Uh, just something I know how to do. And then the talon lifts up and then it kind of thunk oh. right against your chest. Uh. It is sharp, but not like to the point where it's cutting you. Okay, but good. But Ondong was destroyed. It was. So where did you come with this knowledge? It used to be my home. Were you responsible for its destruction? No. I would never. Then why do you carry its knowledge with you? Because knowledge is meant to be knowledge is meant to be shared with those who can use it. Not abuse it, but use it to help others. My knowledge is. You do not speak for all knowledge. You may only speak for your own. It's true, great spirit. You tell me you have brought the mirror scale. Yes. It's talons pass over your hand and then it just disappears ah shit uh, this is indeed the real mirror scale why do you give it to me because the mirror scale shows the consequences that actions in the mortal realm will have on the spirit realm and that actions in the spirit realm will have in the mortal realm. It bridges the two worlds with knowledge and understanding of consequences. And I can think of no better or safer place than a library, which should also serve as a, a bridge for the knowledge of the two worlds. What use do I have of the knowledge of the physical realm when I have abandoned it? and moved my library here into the spirit world. I've spent my entire life learning about you and the library and how you might be found, even though I knew an entire lifetime could pass without my ever having set foot on this threshold. Knowledge of a place or a state that you have never been to can be just as valuable. And I imagine you've come here in order to learn more about how to defeat your enemies. No. Are you saying you don't have enemies? We do. We would not presume to ask you to fight them for us. I want to hear it from all of you. We're here to give you the skill because Dawn thinks it's the safest place for it. And then we're going to leave if you'll let us. The owl's head just tilts a little bit back and forth. You're an airbender. I am. There are no airbenders. Something happened. Are you the Avatar? No. What? The Avatar. Right. Like I, am the yes, I am the yeah, avatar. I am Shit, the that would avatar. Be, yeah, what a bad way move. To get a I know. That's chest. It. Um, <laughs> no. Um, the avatar. I don't know where to begin. Uh, there was an event that occurred that brought airbending back into the world. Convergence. Okay, you're aware of that. Fantastic. I don't know if I'd be able to explain it. 
And you do not need to explain. I know everything. I wasn't sure oh, since yes. it happened <laughs> sort of on the other side. But you didn't know that there are other airbenders in the mortal realm because you have closed off that area of knowledge to yourself. So rebuilding the nation. <laughs> the son of Aang. I yes, have... he came to my library seeking forbidden knowledge. He has been helping spread the knowledge of what it is to be an airbender. I admit that I have not seen this. I did not know this. And this seems to trouble. Uh, and not, yeah. not <laughs> everyone, <laughs> though, has decided to follow his teachings. Some are developing their own techniques. Are you saying that you're from a new airbending school? No school. Just... Show me airbending. That looks around for something that seems really innocuous. It probably well, isn't. You can't just tell someone to airbend. <laughs> no, uh, not now, buddy. Not now. Uh, I'm always now. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, so, Bao's going to... Uh, take a sheet of paper and lift it up into the air and tuck it into the shelf. Probably in the wrong place. Uh, but yeah. Do not reorganize my library. That puts it right back where it was. <laughs> Please tell me that it's young Sue who's so yeah, yeah. making this out of <laughs> For sure. Embarrassing. It's like being in space and being like... <laughs> It's like, no, it's quiet in space. And he's like, no, it has to make no, noise. No, it's gotta have noise. <laughs> Guys, mom, dad, you're embarrassing, you're embarrassing me. Ah, yoink. Now that you know how to get into my library, do you have future plans? Over the coming years, I hope to make a case for you as to why you should consider allowing humans re-entrance. We could begin with seekers of the Order of Passage who have been training for this their entire lives and gradually extend the invitations if that goes well. All according to your comfort levels, but I think we just saw that there is some benefit to speaking to humans to understand what's happening in the mortal realm. How can you truly know 10,000 things if you've blocked off half of it? Because I already know 10,000 things. Things change. Things evolve. Things do not remain constant. You could know 100,000 things. Holy shit. <laughs> so it's a whole new realm of seekers. Only seekers. No one else must know that the library still exists. You have my word. And that it can be found. It must remain a part of your order. You will bring no other humans here, not until your motives can be known. Is there something that we the order can do to keep help the secret i will we will and what of these four they are not of your order they are the most trustworthy people i know mm. and we the will. airbender has already contributed <laughs> yeah. the andong farmer has healed my assistant. But the Earth Kingdom warrior and the firebender. Firebenders only want one thing. Things have changed. She must remain behind. She created the light that you saw in the mirror scale. The Sun Warriors live. You didn't know that either. T to be fair, neither did you. Exactly. 
I learned from you. The Fire Nation has attempted to move away from its warlike endeavors. When you return next, you will bring me a report Shit. on everything. Everything. As much as you can. I will. Then I will return you to the physical world. I will travel the world, gathering knowledge for you. Oh, this is so cool. And we will never tell a soul that we've been here. There may be a day where I will no longer require your secrecy. For now. Yes? Not you. <laughs> ah! <laughs> For now, you must resolve your own. I think we can do that. We have a little more knowledge than we had some weeks ago. It's true. You will have access to the library once you bring me your report. I look forward to reading it. I look forward to seeing you again. Thank you, great spirit. What is your name? Don. Mm. And the owl flies up and up in the atrium and then disappears among the stacks. Um, Youngsu's gonna like wrap Don in a big hug and then be like, get, get in here, get a group hug. Uh -huh. Uh, like to um, ev to everyone else to be clear, like, yeah. Group hug, just. just <laughs> it's a, it's a, we're dog piling. Yes, yes. <laughs> this is more so what I meant. Don, you did it. We did it. Right, we did it. You, we, you, we did it. <laughs> oh, buddy. Oh, jeez. Okay. She's fully weeping. No. Oh, um, Don. <laughs> library. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, hey. You gotta. Big report to write. You got just don't patronize me. <laughs> <laughs> you got a big report to write. No, I just mean don't. You know, we're gonna you gotta. I'm so happy. Oh, good. This is good. Okay. Gil's asking whether you should be moving towards roll, hmm. and I don't know. She. Because you made a, you made a promise, but you didn't do so in terms of like, fulfilling your role as. Well, she, she, he told her that she was allowed to send the other seeker into the library and inform the order of passage that it had been found. So the fact that the order was involved, I feel like. Are you planning on doing that? Yeah. Hmm. We can hold off until she does it, though, if you want. But currently she's like, amazing, I've forged my own path ahead while staying loyal to the order and blah, da, da, da. We'll push you over. Hmm. Great. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> you did good. This is great. It's, I mean, frankly, unbelievable. <gasps> I love this place. Uh, thank you, everyone. Without you, we wouldn't be here. You'd have found it someday. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Let's go. I think we're we're ready to go back to the mortal realm now. Use the door. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Oh, oh. So <laughs> Spells with the help of some air bending. Yeah, there we go. Door. Okay, door, door. Thank you, great spirit. spirit. The door opens up, and you tumble for just a moment as the air just sucks 
all of you out. <laughs> but the the thing is, Ha, who was attached to the fox spirit, reaches out with one of. Oh. Little, yeah 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 yeah. You, you grab yeah, him. Oh yeah. Okay. So you. Oh. Ha goes with you. Oh phew. Okay. Oh Jesus. <laughs> oh, it's almost <laughs> disastrous. And then you're sucked down into the air, but then after a second, you just collapse. All of you except Bao, who could airbend a nice cushion for them to... Yeah, Bao uh, probably instinctively is like, oh god! Oh, An oh, air blast below the... Oh, sure. okay. uh, <laughs> onto the lawn of the Order of Passages Temple. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, uh, Bao oh. looks around for any sort of landmarks that would make this definitely in the correct realm. Mm-hmm. The order of I mean, yeah. like you're in Republic City. So it looks, it like, looks Republic like Republic City. City. It mm. smells like Republic City. Oh, uh, no. Yeah. Not, oh, uh, yes. I knew coal. I hated this place. Coal. Wait, no, because they have fire bending. Coal. They don't have coal. Sorry. I was just trying to think oh. of, you know, early yeah. industrial. Yeah. Madrivan <laughs> is, like, holding his equipment to him. I'm holding the most valuable thing in the whole world right now. Madrivel. I don't know if anything of what just happened was recorded, but that cannot be shared. I wasn't recording in the library. Oh, okay. thank you. You're right. That's an awful lot of valuable information you've got there. Well, where do we go? City Hall. We have someone we need to confront. Don't do you need to talk to your people? I do, but I want to support you. Maybe I should just run in real quick. Go okay. Ahead. If you want, you can go on ahead and I'll meet you there. I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie. I'm gonna get us some water. And Bao heads off to wherever they saw people getting food and drink from. Nice. So, where is everybody going? Are Don you is... splitting the party finally? Because now I'm letting... Briefly? Very briefly? I'm literally trying to get us some refreshments to tide us over until Don's done her chat. Don is going Don's inside. just running into the Order of Passage. Yeah. Just roll quick. Just, just roll, right, roll so... quick. Don's running into the Order of Passage. Bao is... I guess following, intending to branch off and grab... Because like, there's plenty of food and drink inside the temple. Yeah, yeah. that's a plan. Yeah, seen it. Where, is, where are you going? Um, Actually, it's probably safer inside. Yeah, yeah. I will follow. Yeah, yeah let's, let's we'll, head in and we'll wait in the lobby or whatever. Correct. Yeah. Thing. That's a plan. Now, Kaiming, Madrival, and Yongsu. And Ha. And Ha. <laughs> Uh, you run up to the temple, you fling the doors open, and there is Takata. Dressed in her councilwoman clothing, looking around her. Ah. I'd wondered when you would return. And then she snaps her fingers once and pouring out from every alcove inside the order. Shit. So soldiers. <laughs> so bad. Sorry. Um, Republic City police officers. Okay. Right, right. Not soldiers. Dai Li. Uh, come out. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> Dai Li. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Not again. You abandoned your post, first colonist. Our contract is broken. I don't know what you have planned for me and for us, but if you don't hear us out, the information that's already, or 
the information that's ready to be disseminated throughout Republic City, you're not going to like it. I'm afraid your threats mean very little to me. We were set upon by Southern Special Forces. We fled in order to hopefully continue the mission. We were unable to. As I'm sure you know, the Southern Special Forces marched my brethren. I'm gonna use that word, I don't know. I'm sure there's a better word. Uh, marched my brethren back through the portal. Yes, it would seem that Salwan has also fallen in default. And since this temple is owned by Salwan, I claim it. And with a gesture of both of her hands, gouts of flame oh God. erupt, okay. catching all parts of the temple itself setting it alight. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> I mean, Don's gonna go try and fight some fires. Yeah. Doesn't have Bows, much to use. Like, there's but... so much else that there is to say. Um, great. Bow's gonna start creating a... Yeah, Bow's gonna start airbending. I don't know if this is gonna throw us into combat or whatever. Try to put it out in front yeah. of Airbending against her or airbending? Uh, to try to suction the air inward. Fire. So it's not like. You're not feeding it with oxygen. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, I, I am, but I'm trying to push all the oxygen inward, basically, to concentrate all the fire inside the building, at least. Okay. Which is dangerous for all of us inside, but. Uh, well, we're not in combat yet, okay. so I'll have both of you roll your uh, Don, skills and training. Uh, no doubt there's sand kind of throughout I the temple. Right. I feel like, you know, a koi pond, but sand. Yeah. Uh, and she's trying to smother the flames with that. The fish are very unhappy. You can stop this, young Tzu. But it's going to mean more than you've ever promised in your entire life. Eleven. Ten. Okay. Uh, you start to smother the flames, but police are starting to approach the two of you. Do you want to burn alive? Let me fight this fire. I can't stop this, Councilwoman Takata. You can stop this. You can stop everything that you've started. I know what's inside you, Councilwoman, and I've always known. It's the pain of loss. We're the same. We've always been the same. You know who I spoke with in the spirit world? You know who we all spoke with? Do you the want flame, them to the know? The are out. Okay. Oh, okay. You, you managed to do that. Oh, she, God. She's not like a hyper fire. Well, no, I wasn't sure. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's very fair. Okay. okay. The, you, your, your combined efforts have put the fire out, but you are still being approached by okay. police. Councilman. I know what you did, and we all know. I can tell everyone here, or just you. And you can choose to end this now. You can choose to step down and away. Step down? Yes. Oh, yes. There's nothing to step down. There is. It's that or your livelihood. What could you possibly do? Your trash. A nothing farmer from a broken village that I ground into rubble to build my empire. Your empire is meaningless. It's built on a lie and it's built on pain. And I can't believe someone who thinks they're so intelligent doesn't understand that making a deal with a spirit that breaks deals is not going to work out for her. He was using you, and you didn't know. It's so sad. Ridiculous. Uh, at this point now, they're not for you, mm -hmm. Young Su, but for the two of you, and for Kaiming, and for mm -hmm. Bao, uh, you are this close to police putting you into cuffs. Are you like offering wrists here? Um, sort of like, you know, doing this as like putting my hands up as like hold up sort of thing. 
We're not going to go anywhere. We're not interested in fighting. Please let us, please let us speak. You can speak when we're downtown. That. Man, downtown. I always <laughs> wanted to say that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Rookie cop. <laughs> this temple is still under the control of the Sawan. You cannot debase their currency and then claim to buy them off. <laughs> Lock them up, except this one. He's coming with me. She is going to be taken down, officers. There will be a trial. It is already in motion. There are dozens of witnesses that we have lined up before we went into the spirit world. You can throw us in jail, that's fine. But that what is coming for her can only stop if she calls a stop to it. That's right, Councilwoman. We can't stop this. It's up to you now. They are all under agreement to only stop if they get word from us. The cops are looking like back and forth between you and Takata. And Takata is just like, why are you hesitating? Uh, I turn to Madrival. This is going to take a lot of courage, bud. But I know you've got it. Play the tape. The tape. We wouldn't call it the tape. Play the play the talkie. Roll the footage, boy. Why don't you roll me a plead? Yeah, that sounds. Yeah, this is. Meanwhile, oh, Bow Bow is turning their wrists towards the officers. Okay. What about what about Don? Or is it? Oh sure, Don is too. Harmony. Yeah. Harmony. Don't like cops every once in a while. Come on. Come on, Bow loves handing their wrists over to the take me away. <laughs> I, I got a six on my plead. Does anyone have fatigue mm -hmm. for me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> for me. Absolutely. Me, Jorik. Me, Jorik. Please, Takata. Oh, we're, no, we're talking oh, yeah, yeah, about yeah, Sorry. Um, uh, yeah, then Belle looks to him. Looks to Madrigal. This is how you make it. Cowards don't win awards. <laughs> Do you want your <laughs> Madrigal unhooks puppy or not? unhooks his pack, opens it, and starts pulling out like a tiny, and by tiny it's actually quite large mm -hmm. because we're living in the post-industrial era. A uh, <laughs> speaker set which he connects up to. It it just needs going to be a minute. And then, to um, Takata looks over and just arches her eyebrow as then the tape starts. The police listen. There's literally handcuffs hovering like over your wrists, but like they aren't, they haven't locked them yet. The tape goes on. The discussions. Tatik speaking. This is ridiculous. He's one. One person. The testimony of someone who we believe is even dead. It isn't enough. It was a good shame. Good try. We have the testimony of others. Others who were helping you. You know again? She starts looking back and forth. Sailor? Sailor's right there. Is she? I'm so sorry. But I'm not my traitor of a sister. Like I said, Councilwoman, we can't stop this now that it's in motion. Only you can. There are more who I will not name, for if I name them... And you overpower us. You can stop those who you know of. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to get Chief Bay Fong in on this. Yes. I'm happy to problem? stay under custody, <laughs> but please no, do not lock us up. You haven't committed any crime, have you? Not to my knowledge. He has. 
I, I, I don't I don't think Councilwoman, if what this is true Councilwoman, you're you're under arrest. And for a second, her fist closes. You can see it starting to smolder with heat. Everyone be on your guard. Yep. She's close to young Sue. He reaches out and puts a hand on hers, like over the smoldering one. Okay. It is probably pretty hot. Maybe. No hotter than a hot potato, and you're used to this. That's how we eat them in Andong. Hot. You don't have to do this. He's gone. He's gone, once a woman. You can still live your life. I've lost something, too. And I'm going to live mine. Yeah, I think so. I... You. Yeah, for sure. Oh, oh, oh. Her hand drops. The handcuffs leave the air in front of the two of yours and then lock over to Kato's. It looks like you're going downtown after all, Councilwoman. But not where you expected. Nice. <laughs> nice. That guy's getting a raise. Who the hell is that guy? He's off. It's Jerry. <laughs> oh, Jerry. I'm so happy for him. Oh, good job, Jerry. They start leading Takata away. That looks to you on Zoom. You would have been totally justified. I know. I know. I, I can't. I can't be angry with her. She's done so much wrong, and it's coming from a place of pain. She will face her justice. Exactly. She needs to see justice. And then after that, well, she can make a choice about what she wants to do. And as long as she is publicly um, exposed, that sounds yeah. bad news. Yeah, 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 yeah. Publicly denounced. Yeah, let's go with that. Then justice will be served. It's not what I imagined when I first came to Republic City. But I think it's right. Don, I don't know if her payments have gone through. I don't know how quickly the sat one can recover. Hopefully your news can bolster the spirits of your order, but I will do everything within my power to make sure that payment someday does come through. Thank you, Bao. Um, I'm also hoping maybe, uh, maybe Varric would be interested in a meeting. He wanted to meet you. He seemed eager. And... Considering the way you have with spirits, I think you'll be able to talk to him as well. Just think of him as a fickle spirit. Okay. Very deep pockets. Actually, that and great ideas. That sounds about right from what I know of him too. <laughs> hey, can we go save your cousin? I want to kiss his face. Young Sue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I am going to give you the option at this time yeah, totally. to embrace care as your principal. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I think so. I feel I feel like hmm. the hammer may may have other uh, adversaries in the future, but in this moment, this is what he's learned. Shit, man. Um, then Bao's gonna turn to whatever police is left. The Southern Special Forces went into the Spirit Portal and theoretically would have left with 
the cell and soldiers. They're still close to the spirit portal. Thank you. Um, we can take you there. It would be appreciated. I don't know how many we have she had in motion. We'll see what we can do. Here, let's go. And they pile out, and then there's several satomobiles that are parked behind the temple itself, probably to avoid too much notice. Um, you're ushered into them, except... Don, are you going with them, or are you staying at the temple? Ah... You said you wanted to kiss my cousin's face. She has to kiss her cousin's. Their okay. she has to kiss their cousin's face. Uh, the yeah. officer who's <laughs> standing outside and, and opening the door beckoning for you is one that you've seen before. So you are a seeker of the Order of Passage. Which one is? Is this? it always oh, the, the dude who is like the, who's like following you in the car the whole time? Oh, for fuck's sake! Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We'll get on it. We have to get you to the spirit portal. Oh, great. Thanks. <laughs> get the oh, door. Okay. Uh, there's a canteen of water back there if you need it. Oh, no. oh that's nice. Oh. Turns the car on, peels out. When you make it to the spirit portal itself, <coughs> you can see that. Uh, Jai is kneeling alongside the rest of uh, the other Sawan uh, soldiers, the elites that are with them. Uh, and the Southern Water Tribe Special Forces who are surrounding them, um, everyone has a military precision to them. Very much a, like, we're professionals enough to, to not fuck around with this situation we know everything is very dangerous everything's very kind of tense so we'll all keep our cool as much as possible mm. there's one person present who isn't bao's mother who is shouting at Ooh. the leader of the uh water tribe special forces whose name escapes me at the moment oh yeah, yeah i got it uh sip 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 no sip sip yeah what this whole thing and then looks and sees that you're arriving with cops and her eyes widen and she steps back she points like you're the first colonist not anymore uh oh steps out of whichever vehicle mother it's all right Al? i was gonna cross the distance if they're allowed to no one is stopping you although yeah. the southern uh water <clears throat> tribe are keeping a very close eye on all three of you five of you mm -hmm. We know who took the gold. What? We know. We know what the way forward is. What? We found the answers. What do you mean? I was going to turn to Civic. Yeah. We last spoke on the other side of that. Yes, I remember. How did you leave? We didn't see you come through the spirit portal. No, you didn't. Nice. <laughs> I'm waiting. The Sawan surrendered. We came peacefully because we knew that we were not acting against the spirits. <clears throat> we were misled. All of us. Your mother is having a fit, but her having a fit is also very internal. And uh, you can tell <laughs> because she's 
busted her fan out and is fanning herself very vigorously. We were tricked and deceived. There will be a trial in the coming days. The police forces are here. They can corroborate whatever you need. Your cousin said the same thing. And we have not been together. Then she does not speak for your clan? As I said. And your mother turns to you. As I said. And Jai looks over his shoulder. We were deceived. We are not perfect. No one is. We are fallible. But she urged me before I left not to trust the deceiver. She knew. And I'm looking now to, into my mother's eyes. She knew that there might be something up, but she wasn't ready to admit it because she is strong. She wants what's best. We all wanted what was best, which is why we walked in through that portal under the guise of colonizing, with no intent in our hearts of doing so. There will be no such incursion. You have your word. And you can also have the word, I believe, that the Order of Passage, like, Vaz, like, trying to be like, I'm speaking for the Order of Passage, <laughs> stop me now! That the Order of Passage will assure that no such incursion occurs either. You have our word. The word of the Order. And that of the First Colonist? I renounce the title. I never wanted it anyway. Let them go. And to a one, each of the Southern Water Tribe takes one step back, lets out a hand. It's like as if they've choreographed it. Oh, and cool. each member of Sawan takes it and then lifts themselves to a standing position. The Where is Takata? Downtown. Yeah. Then we'll take our business to her. And they turn, and he goes, and all of them just fall into line, and they start marching out. He turns back to you. It's good to see that you're on the same side that we are too. It's the side of right. It's the right thing to do. I have one final question for you. Where is the mirror scale? Lost. As I said. Good. And he starts to leave. Pal, your mother turns to you. He chose Sawan, like you said. You did. <clears throat> Father knew he could tell, but he couldn't act against you, mother. He loves you too much. He could see through her. I know she offered us hope. I know you wanted hope for us. We're going to have to work a little harder in a bit of a different way. But we do have a path forward. We can make friends of the Order of Passage. They will be happy to let us visit. We can reclaim the gold. I know who has it. You 
done so well. Shy two. But perhaps you've done better than I ever could. We always raise our children to be better than us. I'm no airbender. She reaches out and she just takes Bao's hand and then lets them go. I'll, I'll be at the hotel. I have a few letters to write and not enough messenger hawks. I'll be Don't. home soon. Take whatever time you need. <clears throat> Jai looks at the soldiers and says, a Company. Accompany her back. And they form a an honor guard as she gets into one of the satomobiles and they start running alongside it with their hands. Seemingly very relieved that they're not about to get executed. Yeah, I mean, sure. That's yeah. nice. But Jai stays behind. Well, I'm still guilty of dereliction of duty. I had my orders. And who leads? I guess right now it's you. The Sawan family forgives you. You are acting in the good of the family. You're acting in the good of the world, which is what we shall be doing henceforth. Your orders from here on include thinking for yourself. Aye, sir. And I will lead you. I will leave you. Do some thinking for yourself. No. Max away. <laughs> step, <laughs> step, 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 step. And die <laughs> and like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Young Su also yeah, if you could. takes his leave. Or yeah, I don't know if you wanted to buddy pal him at all, but uh, buddy pal. He gives him one of these. Yeah. And he takes a look at Kaiming and it now. <laughs> Back to Young Su. Then he looks at Don. Walks over. Are you hurt? No. I'm a bit confused, but I imagine that will pass. You did something very brave. And arguably very stupid. I thought that was our job. And an excellent teacher. You know, um, the next year or so is going to see me like traveling all over the place. Um, I have some research to do. Um, if our journeys ever take us to the same city, would you like to go on a date? many dates I think I may take a leave of absence yeah he looks around and bows gone and he's like oh, oh okay <laughs> yeah probably <laughs> I think I need a bit more training I'd like to help with that 
uh, she will launch herself into a kiss. Shots fired! Shots fired! <laughs> Get down, Mr. Ah, well. General. Well. Get down, Mr. General. Yeah. Get down, enemy attack. Protect the general. <laughs> <laughs> Always protect your general. Oh. Uh, it's not what I meant to do. <laughs> really so sorry, fun. everybody. Uh, uh, wow, sorry. What was it? Uh, eraser. The eraser off oh. my pencil. Uh, uh, <laughs> after the launch, he oh, yeah, absorbs it by spitting around a couple of times. Oh. Uh, the kiss is enthusiastically returned. Yeah. Hungry? Yeah, I am starving actually. Dinner's on me. I thought the Salons didn't have any gold. For now. We got the airbender discount. I'll just start five finger discount. Oh my money. god! That's my moment of balance. I use my family's resources to bend money into my pocket. <laughs> what an ending! <laughs> Dinner's on me, folks. <laughs> Dinner's on Barrick. Yeah, actually, honestly, charge it to Barrick Global Industries. No, I think dinner's on me. Oh. Oh, perfect. <laughs> the uh, the banquet hall at Verit Global Industries is allowed for your private use. Damn. After all, there was uh, an offer made. Takata is in uh, Takata is in custody, and Verit is only too pleased to make sure that the five of you are taken care of. Six, if we include Jai. We do. There is indeed a trial. It does not last very long. <laughs> While the prosecuting attorney comes up with countless witnesses who have been brought forward, not just because of your efforts, but then as it snowballs, as more and more people come forward claiming that they had been blackmailed or extorted. Right. Oh boy. The councilwoman pleads guilty, or changes her plea. Mm -hmm. And initially, while she tries to claim that she can still represent the Fire Nation here in Republic City, uh, that is very quickly shouted down she is put into prison for her efforts and there is talk that uh, Fire Lord Izumi is asking for extradition in order to prosecute her for crimes against the Fire Nation itself Interesting. Tatik is a man of his word he does arrive and does give some of the most damning testimony but he also leaves you with one more thing. The location of the cache of gold hidden still outside Fire Fountain City, one that he has protected its aware or protected its uh, location for quite some time, claiming that this is the second time that he's broken his code of ethics. And then Kaiming closes her tea shop. She takes the sign down, lets the bar uh, get shipped off to some other needy mm. business and entrepreneur. Yeah. <laughs> Varric has offered. Young Su a job. Huh. You see, he's very interested in dealing with Sawan. Now that Sawan's currency has regained uh, a lot of its purchase power. Uh, but one thing that he doesn't have, however, is uh, 
He does not seem to have a lot of contacts with the more rural communities in the Earth Kingdom. And he doesn't know about what it's like to have to build a farm. Yeah, sure. Or, or manage outside of technology. His desire is to bring what technology he can to help their lives without replacing them. Mm -hmm. To help them uh, thrive as communities and to give them enough trade and export so that they can experience some of the creature comforts that the rest of the world has come to know, but without overriding it. Stating that he himself would hate to see the water tribes fall in the same direction. Even though he is definitely not leaving Republic City unless it's on his private yacht. The thing, thing. four. Oh, Jesus. Four. <laughs> the thing. This guy. But Kaiming does show up outside the arena for the Unagi's first pro bending match. But she's not dressed in her boba tea outfit, nor is she dressed in her uh, Kiyoshi warrior garb, but just a simple black dress mm. with a belt and shoes with just a little bit of a heel on them. Young Su is there too. Perhaps uncharacteristically, he's found his. Shirt. Yeah, yeah, he's found himself an outfit that is not his usual. Uh, you know, part of that being new attire brought on by his new work with Barrick. But he's he's wearing um, he's wearing an ensemble that's weirdly enough, somewhat inspired by a Kiyoshi Warrior's outfit. No no face paint, no makeup. But something about the cut of the shirt that he's wearing is reminiscent of a Kiyoshi Warrior's garb. I have a question for you. The Unagi have a firebender, a waterbender. Do they have an airbender? Do they have an earthbender? That guy was pretty bad. <laughs> May even be dead. I actually don't know what happened. No, no, Don. <laughs> it wouldn't be Don. If if Don participated, it would be for this one match. Like she's she can't join them permanently. She's got too many things to do. Uh, <laughs> she would sub in for one. <laughs> Maybe you don't have to. But you might know another Earthbender who would be interested. She immediately volunteers uh, either Kyong or Tong, whoever wants to. So the little Tong, ah, Tong. who is rookie AF, Love that. has volunteered. The Unagi put out a, you know what, let's find out what kind of a showing, but we're only going to ask you, we're going to ask you to rely on your skills and training. Nice. Uh, this is the new pro bending where mm. all four of the uh, elements are represented and the Unaki do not win their initial match clearly uh, you have an earthbender who needs a lot of work <laughs> but Sawan Bao does prove to be a crowd favorite managing to stay in the ring throughout and never being knocked into the drink thus uh receiving some chance and definitely my word <laughs> who would have thought that a salwan would step into the ring with the brutalist of the earthbenders firebenders waterbenders and now airbenders here in the pro bending arena Look at the way they dance, jumping from side to side, avoiding the discs, the flames, the gouts, and the bursts. <laughs> we yeah. might not have seen the Unagi win, but we're seeing the makings of a champion right here, folks. Yeah, no! and, and if Jai's sitting beside Don, yeah. like she like makes him stand up too and like encourages him to yell, uh, even though he's 
Uh, I... yes. Oh shit! Oh my god, that's hilarious. He was so enthusiastic. Like, like think about that person on Kyosha. Like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> foaming at the mouth. Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> I love that guy. And then after after the match, Kaiming turns to Young Su when you know there's more matches that are mm-hmm. taking place. Mm-hmm. You know this means I can go home, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I guess I was just waiting to ask where you think your home is now. My... I don't know if I'm ready to face my parents or my sister. Hmm. Um, I don't think I can ever stop being a Kyoshi warrior. I don't think you should have to. It's who you are. So then... Where do I go? I mean... I'm gonna say wherever you want, but... For right now? To that vendor over there? They've got some hot flake spiced corn that I think is really good. I'm going to have to go back eventually so that I can greet my sisters. Tell them that they don't have to look for the mirror scale anymore. Right. But I could... I could go for some corn. Does it start? Maybe you'll want me to go with you when you go to see the other members of the Kiyoshi Warriors. Maybe you would want someone to go with you. Like me. Anybody who wants to walk alongside a Kyoshi warrior has to be brave, has to be stalwart in the face of danger, needs to be ready for anything and adaptable. So I definitely need Ha to come along. Well, wherever Ha goes, I go. So, a bit of a non-negotiable. And I guess I'll have to get two tickets. Yeah, I know how to be brave. Yeah. And he takes her in his arms and dips her in a big dramatic gesture with a kiss. That was brave, right? I don't. uh... (laughs) (laughs) After the match, uh, people rush your locker room. Because, you know, yeah. Sports stars! Yeah, once Bao has a chance, though, uh, they'd like to try to escape to find their friends. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. I, I yeah. imagine that the group oh, yeah. goes. It's not like oh, reporters oh. are rushing here. Oh. You lost. Yeah. <laughs> hey, everyone, back up. Losers. They're very important and they need their air. Get it? Yeah, that's my manager. Yeah, yeah, I'm their manager. You you better watch your mouth if you know what's good for you. You were so good. Yeah, so good. I got you pretzel, dog. Tong (laughs) Tong is sitting off in in one corner of the locker room on a bench, just her head hung low. Oh, no, Tong. Hi, Tong. I blew it. You were so brave. Are you kidding me? It's kind of exciting, though. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Pretzel dog. <laughs> uh, okay. Is now there. Yes. Uh, talk to the, her. 
you know, it's theoretically a good thing that I didn't get knocked into the drink, but it sure means that I still need a bath. You wouldn't happen to know a good place around town? Let me tell you what's going to happen. There's going to be one or two reporters out there who are going to be asking you questions. Madrival's waiting, I'm sure. And there's going to be an offer for you to have a late dinner with your teammates as you celebrate your first match. All of that's something that I wouldn't dream of missing, so you're going to have to wait. But it will give me time to heat up a bath for you. And then she turns and you feel the weight of a key drop into your pocket. Damn. Take as long as you like. I'll be up. And she heads out and just, she hip checks the door of the locker room closed. Bow turns back to their friends and chats away and chats on the probably right. all watching yeah. like this. Oh, I, well, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, no, that's good. I, think. I feel like Young Su's right in the middle of describing a moment in the yeah. match to Tong of just like, and then the airbender was like, but you got a boom! <laughs> right in the air! <laughs> happening in the background. <laughs> ha. Just sticks with you. Um, throughout the match, Ha was only vaguely interested in what was going on sure. and yeah. only really paying attention when Bao was out there and then afterwards Ha didn't really care but just wanted to be around. Just like now. It seems like the happiest place to be. Good spot. Yeah. I think we'll end it there. Oh, yay! I very briefly got, like, a Christmas Carol vibes right then, John. And Ha, who did not die. <laughs> I don't know why I got that. Uh, horrible. Who did not die. <laughs> Spent oh. Christmas with Yong Yeah, exactly. Every year. That's a 22 New... pretzel dog now. That's a pretzel dog. Probably not. Pretzel dragon. Yay. I have a few thoughts. You have a few thoughts, but we have a few things we got to get rid of first. Uh, Despite the fact that I don't believe you are going to be achieving growth, I am going to ask you, uh, Kate, mm -hmm. what did you learn? That even if things don't turn out the way you think they will, you can still accomplish your goals. Mm. Elizabeth? Um, yeah, that, that, that thinking outside the box and, and being flexible, but also knowing when to stand firm are critical. Mm. Scott? Uh, I learned that un perhaps unlike other members of the, the Hammer playbook, Yang Su isn't necessarily always going to have an adversary to bring force against. This... That, that this resolution to his character feels very right. I learned that he cares. Yeah, there you go. Kate, did you stop a dangerous threat or solve a community problem? I would say yes. I think, so. I think stopping to cut accounts. And community problem of the library be missing? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Uh, did you guide a companion towards balance or end the session at your center? No. No. Mm, nothing. Oh no, no, I didn't. None of us did. But I will ask. 
We have three boxes remaining. Did you learn anything about your family or the trials and tribulations therein? Yeah, I found out the uh, truth behind where the gold went. Did you accomplish a feat worthy of your order? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I fucking hope so. And Yad King's like, oh, not that impressive. Like, doesn't count. Oh, <laughs> god damn it. Did you make any progress towards your adversary? I resolved it, even. Made lots of progress. Which means that you'll all get to it. Yay! Yay! I'm taking another stat up. I'm moving my center to where my center ended up. Creativity check. Boom. I like that tone much less. <laughs> Online too. Kate, do you want to call out some play? Oh my god. Uh, I want to call out Scott as young Hello. too for how he chose to deal with his adversary in the final moments. Um, you know, as you said, it's not the typical hammer way of doing things, mm -hmm. but it was very young too. And it showed a lot of growth from the beginning of the campaign. I think it's a, it was a really nice little... Yeah. But he still showed his angry and fighty sides. <laughs> but, you know, he hasn't completely lost who he was. Mm. But yeah, he's grown. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I want to call out Liz as Don. Uh, the, I mean, many, many things happened in this session, of course, but I feel very strongly that the squeeing over finding the library is a very <laughs> Don reaction oh, to yeah. it. Uh, and it just, it was a really nice... The really like it was just a really beautiful moment of like Don's enthusiasm for life, you know, mm -hmm. and not being like, well, that's my life's work done. It's just like, oh, what's the next step? Like, gee, I gotta write a report. Like, I'm so, you know, it's great. I loved it. I loved it. She's a little nerd, and I love it. Okay, that's what I'm getting at. Um, I loved how quickly Bao was like, I'm in charge now. Like, yeah, like unofficially or officially Bao is now effectively the leader of the Sawan and I am so here for it. Um, they have secured the respect and trust of all of the important decision makers in the factions and like they are fully running this town <laughs> and like the fact that it wasn't explicitly stated you just worked it into how they were conversing with yeah, people was yeah. like was so well done. Love that was that. great. <laughs> <laughs> Wan Shi Tong, yo! Yeah. And yeah, everything, yeah. but like... Yep, yeah. no. I mean, I like the NPC participation with Tatik. I think it was cool as well. Um, it was nice because they are well-rounded characters, and you tend to leave our favorite companion NPCs that we cart around with us not interfering too much, but it was nice that they could have some moments because Tatik was, you know, theoretically friends with Kenny. Yeah, that yeah. relationship was. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a long time since we've seen that relationship in action, which actually we saw very little of anyway. But like, it just—it was nice to sort of bring it back and have it here. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Hell yeah. Uh, Crosshair and Kofu Fenris have asked some questions, but I don't think we're going to answer them today. Should we? Uh... I have logged them. Oh, good. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Thank you, John. I have logged them. They will be there ready for us when we have our froyo session next week whoop. Whoop, whoop. so uh they're very good questions and i definitely want to answer them but we're gonna wait next week we'll have our wrap up to this campaign uh and maybe some news about what our next one will be mm -hmm. but uh that's that's what i think we're gonna do we'll have to find some uh frozen treats as is as is tradition. As is tradition. Ooh, what are we gonna have? Uh, There's still the, the um, gelato that my folks bought. Excellent. We've got stuff. But uh, what I'm going to recommend is that oh, it'd be oh. the best time for you to show up, ask questions. We'd love to hear your comments on the game. Uh, we'll, you can throw them in Discord and we'll bring them into the Froyo session mm -hmm. if you like as well. But uh, that doesn't mean that there aren't things coming up in the week now. I. Uh, Tuesday. I, I will be away, unfortunately, so my stream is uh, Audi on Tuesday, but 
there may be steel streamage potentially, right? So at okay. some point during the week, okay. uh, it is likely that we'll have another clinic hours where we may talk about some more stuff that we've uncovered about Werewolf 5th Edition. Uh, we didn't get to cover everything last time, so it would be a good idea for you to uh, come on in and we can talk about that. That will likely be Tuesday or Wednesday, but we are going to have to uh, confirm that. You can wait for that on the Discord itself. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe we'll even get an answer as to how much gifts cost with experience. <laughs> uh, Friday? Uh, well, also throughout the week, I'm going to throw in a random productivity read with me stream. Uh, oh. I've never done this before, but I'm, I need motivation uh, and accountability to read uh, Werewolf Fifth. So I'm going to stream it. <laughs> and we're going to see what happens. Uh, we'll have uh, ambient library ASMR uh, vibes playing in the background. That would be at some point. Crash from a chaos cabin. Exactly. Uh, Friday, we are continuing God of Punch uh, at 6 p.m. Eastern on my channel. Excellent. And Saturday, there will not be a Drew Crew. There, yeah. Go ahead. Probably not. No, no, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. right. I think there's there will most likely be a, a, an early evening stream. But whether it's my stream or whether we just move Drew Crew a little later, oh, we'll see. That's possible. But we love Drew Crew here, right? Yeah, so that's true. Again, the Discord is, of course, the place to find out about all of that information. Uh, and next Sunday, we'll be back here with our Froyo. Uh, bring your questions, bring your thoughts, bring your frozen treats. Oh, no, no. If we if we have enough like uh, questions and and kind of like discussion topics beforehand, we might even start a thread on the Discord, right? So that they're all neatly logged in one place and you can find them there. It'll be Maybe. fun. We'll see. we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Yay! I gotta thank the three of you. Thank you. Yeah, we thank gotta you. thank you. And we'll see you and you at the Froyo and I'm going to see me getting my ass up this way <laughs> and then that way. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye! <laughs>